Hi everybody and welcome to my first video in this series on how to get a distinction in your piano grade exams. Now I've been thinking about this um, over the past week and actually these videos aren't just going to be useful for piano players um, so it doesn't matter if you play a different instrument hopefully you'll find some of these tips um, and pieces of advice useful. Okay so I have five tips for you. The first one is find and print off the mark scheme. So so first of all, well, you're going to need to find out what your exam board is. Um, I tend to use associated boards, so the ABRSM. Um, and so the first step is to find and print off your mark scheme. Now, this is what the ABRSM one looks like. Um, it's a PDF document and I'll put the link to it below. Um, so that's the first step. Number two, read it. Don't just put it away somewhere, fold it up, leave it in the bottom of your bag or whatever. Carry it with you, with all of your piano music, with your piano notebook. And I want you to look really closely at the type of language it uses specifically for the difference between the grade boundaries. Um, so, for example, um, thinking about your pieces, OK, in terms of the notes that you play to get a distinction, it says that the notes have to be highly accurate. OK, now for a merit, it says that the notes have to be largely accurate. So you can interpret that to mean mostly. And then for a pass, it says generally correct. OK, so you can see that there are clear differences between um, these kind of phrases. So that was step number two. Read it and look really closely at the difference in the language between the grade boundaries. Number three, think about where you are now and where you need to be. OK, and so that will inform the specific steps that you need to take when you're practising. Um, so one thing that you could do is go through the mark scheme with a highlighter pen in one colour and highlight where you think you are now. So are you playing generally correct notes or are you playing largely accurate notes? Um, or, for example, and here's another reference to the um, the difference in the language is the tone quality that you're creating generally reliable. That would be for a pass. Or is it mainly controlled and consistent? Another phrase um, for you. That was from the merit um, band. OK, so go through with a highlighter in one colour and to highlight where you are now and then perhaps um, in a week's time in a couple of weeks time after you've had a sufficient amount of time to put in your practice strategies then you could highlight with another colour um, the the you know sort of where you are um, and there there you can clearly see your progress so that was step number three think about where you are now and then where you need to be okay number four so this is really important, especially for teachers. You need to share the success criteria, this mark scheme, with your students and the parents and carers. Um, so you could either print it off and hand it to them or you can email it to them, send them a link. Um, and that way everything is transparent and they can take some ownership over their progress. That's step number four. So share the mark scheme, share the success criteria and do that early on. Don't do that like a week before because a week isn't really sufficient amount of time to to put in um, sort of sufficient practice to get, say, from a pass to a distinction necessarily. And last of all, number five, and this is another one for teachers, try doing a mock exam before the actual exam. Now I do this um, two weeks before the exam and I use the mark scheme and obviously I share that with, with the students well before, you know, three months before. Um, and once you've done the mock, which anyway is a really good thing to do before the exam, um, you know, share your feedback, share the, your thought process, show them um, where your comments are coming from and where you do the when you do the mock use phrases from the mark scheme that keeps your feedback really relevant okay so hope that was helpful for you um let me know what you think and i'll see you next time bye